will say the single most important reason that student dropout has a lot to do with money. I have a lot of students who are coming to me and telling me, Miss Crum, like I didn't go to sleep until one o'clock last night because once I got out of school, I had to go and work for X amount of hours. And I know when I was in high school, I had a job, but I would work for maybe four hours in the afternoon and go home, do my homework and had a good night of sleep. So I'm definitely noticing a lot of the students are like, they're working very long hours and they're trying to help their families and trying to at least help themselves. I was just shocked this past school year at how many of my students, especially how young they were and at the fact that they were working. I mean, I didn't want to say, you know, is this legal what you're doing? But like, I mean, they had legal jobs, but just the fact that they were working so many hours and they weren't getting home until like one o'clock in the morning, I was very concerned. So I feel like for a lot of them, they're faced with a decision when they're in high school, whether they want to continue with high school or they just want to drop out and just focus on, you know, making money and being able to provide for themselves as well as for their families. And a lot of them aren't able to understand the long-term benefits of being in school. I mean, I know that, yeah, they're, they're struggling right now, but if they continue to stay in school and work really hard, it'll definitely help them out, at least when they graduate and they become adults and they can be able to provide for themselves as well as for their families.